Hi, this is Osias from Session, a solution that helps you generate personalized marketing videos for every customer, content, and occasion, and which can be integrated within any marketing automation software, actually within any platform out there. Today, we're going to learn how to automatically generate a personalized video every time we receive a new lead through this service here, a pointlet. A pointlet is a service that does actually what? This here. Hello, automatic Google Calendar scheduling. So this is a service we actually use because we love it. Every time we, we, we want to, uh, to share, for example, every time we want to share our, our, our agenda, our calendar, so you can uh, get a demo with us, we, we only need to give you a URL session.appointment.com and you can receive the time slot you, that works for you, the time date that works for you. So what we want to do in this case is to generate a personalized video for every person that uses that link to reserve a time slot with us. So how can we do that? Wait, the way you can do that is actually pretty simple. It's by connecting a session with a point link through this service here, Zapier. Zapier is a service that connects around 350 apps, business apps uh, usually, with triggers and actions. So you don't need to deal with that kind of connections. You only need to use the Zapier interface. And first, let me show you the personalized video that will be created every time we receive that time, uh, that uh, demonstration of the request using a pointlet. This is an example. Great, let's talk. So this video here was created from a template, a session template that I will show you a little bit more about it in a few seconds. And as you can see here, here that this is my name, Josias. So uh, this is the personalized field in this template, in this video. And all the elements like the background video, the soundtrack, the text here, uh, this text here, the logo at the end, this video here, all the, those elements are what we call template media. That means that every video created with this specific template will always have those elements in this case. But the only element that changes uh, within this video is this element here, this text here, in this case, Josias. So this is what we call a dynamic media. Great. Let me show you how this template was created. This is the session platform. So reminder, session is the platform that generates the personalized video and that can be connected within any marketing automation software. So this template has several objects. So you can see here it has an audio, a text here. It has a few objects actually, a few videos here as you can see. I think there are four or five videos here. Uh, more text, which is the name for example and the rest of the text with all the properties. And here we can see the elements that actually are uploaded uh, or that are in my, in my session account in this case to create that video. For example, the soundtrack, uh, the, the background videos, etc. So as I said before, every session element has to, let's say status, what we call dynamic media, what we call template media. As you can see here, this is a template media. That means that every video, this is the audio, every video created with this template will always have this audio as a soundtrack. And here we have a, a dynamic media, which is a text. I'll show you why I added this ID or this text as a dynamic media. And then we have a few template media, like the background video that are in this case, all these background video are hosted in my session account, or I could also uh, host it in my Amazon S3 bucket or use a, a, a URL in order to download that content automatically every time I want to download to create to generate a personalized video. So, as I said before, we have a few template media, and here we have another dynamic media, which is the name. That means that every time uh, a pointlet. The uh, session received 
well, yeah, a point that sends new information uh, from a demo request in our case, session will automatically generate a personalized video with this information here, the name. So, as you can see here, communication has changed forever, marketing is, has also, etc. These all are the text for every element within that template. And our logo here. So, how can we connect session with a pointlet? Well, as I said before, is through this service here, Zapier. I really love Zapier. A lot of our clients and users, they use Zapier because it helps you save a lot of time. And you can connect session within like with Salesforce or actually with a run of business apps out there. So let me show you how to use Zapier to connect session with a pointlet. Zapier, every time you, you want to connect to apps, you need to create a new Zap. So in every Zap has two sides. This side here, the, on your left hand, which is the trigger side, which sends information from an app to another app. And that another app is in the action side. So in this case, we're gonna choose uh, let's find a pointlet here. A pointlet. And as you can see, you have a lot of apps here. In this case, let's use a pointlet. And we want that every time we have a new booking, yeah, a new booking request, I want session to automatically generate a personalized video. So let's find session. You will find one session in your Zapier account. I have a few session apps because we do a lot of tests and we want to create a video this is the only action that a session allows here uh, right now in the action side so every time this happens every time a new booking we have a new booking request session will automatically generate a personalized video and then after that i'll show you how to send that video by email let's click continue i already connected my appointment account let's test it Let's connect our session account. Let's test it also. Great. Let's continue. And I'll show you, I'll choose, choose my organization, in this case session. I could add one or several filters. I won't add any to make this demo faster. Filters are really useful sometimes. And now this is the session part. What we need to do now is to choose or to select our session template. I have a lot of session templates. You don't need to, if you don't want to create a session template, we can do it for you. Just let us know, write us at help at session.com and we'll get in touch with you in order to create a custom template for your company. That's not a problem. So this is the template I want to use. This one here, session appointment demo. And let's use these fields now. So I want that every time, yeah, this is information I want to add. In this case, the video title, the video description, the keywords, and the custom metadata, all this information, all these fields are, uh, are part of the metadata for that video. So let's say I want to use the name, like name of that person. Zapier, as you can see here, gives us a, a sample. In this case, name, this is the field that is coming from uh, the last result from uh, our our last appointment, let's, let's say, and Zapier gives you the reference so you can know more or less what we're talking about. Name, uh, let's say something like, like communication has changed forever. And as a description, let's say something like, let's, let us show you how name this is a description for the video the video will be automatically uploaded to my youtube account in this case two sessions actually let us show how you can add more text but this is a fast a quick demo and a few uh a few keywords like session tv that's our youtube channel uh, personalized videos videos for example and for the custom metadata i want to add that person's email because I want to send that video by email 
uh, with another zap from session to Gmail or from session to MailChimp or any other MailChimp, sorry, in, or any other uh, email marketing app. In this case, email, email, great. And now the ID, I use this because these videos are being uploaded to YouTube in this case, so I don't want, uh, YouTube won't allow you to have repeated uh, videos. So let's say that you have two Joseas. So YouTube won't allow to have two videos with the same information. So if you have, if you add a little uh, change, a small change, like for example, in this case, the ID, that's enough for YouTube to, to consider it another, uh, a new video. And now what we really want, which is this person's name. So name, in this case, name, perfect. We click continue and now let's test it. We have a few samples here, let's test it. And as you can see now, session should be here. It's already creating that video. The video is being created by session. So in a few seconds, we're going to see how that video is created and uploaded to our YouTube channel, in this case, session. Let's wait a few seconds. And while we do that, let's go to Zapier again to create a new Zap. What we're going to do is to send information from Zapier, from Session, to Gmail, for example. We're going to create a new Zap. And in this case, what we're going to do is to select Session here in the trigger side now. New video. Every time a new video is created with Session, I want, uh, uh, for example, Gmail to send that video by email to that specific person. Send email. We click continue. We copy this webhook here to send, this is it, let's say the notification system, we copy it and we paste it here in our session template, here, where, is, where it says webhook. We save the template and now every time a video is generated with this specific uh, webhook in this specific template, session will send information from, uh, well, uh, yeah, from session to Gmail. Let's see the video that has been generated. Ross, as you can see here, it works perfectly. Great. Now we want to send that video by email every time we have a new lead. So let me check. Great. So, we click continue here. Now we are in the other zap. Let's say that we are okay with this one here. We, yeah, let's save it. Uh, I want to give it this name, a pointlet from set from a pointlet to session. Turn on, perfect. And now let's continue with the other zap from session to Gmail to send that video to email for uh, by email. So this is really easy. You only need to connect your, well, use the webhook we we told uh, I, I told you before, and use you connect your email account or the service you want to use. Could be Salesforce, could be Gmail, any other self active campaign, Mailchimp, etc. The first time you do it, the first time you use this, is, the first time you do it, uh, Zapier will ask you to create a new video using this specific webhook. I did it before. You didn't see it, but I did it before. And here we have the information that is coming from this video. If you click here in the, in the insert field bottom, all this is the information that is coming from the video description, name, the ID, even the email of that person, because I, I added when that, as a metadata when the video was created, etc. So I will use my email to, <laughs> sorry, because I don't want to send an email to that person right now because he already received a video. So, but I could use that person's email here as a personalized field here. And from name, from name, that's my name, from Josias. Uh, the subject, your personalized video, for example, just to make a fast test, quick test. And now, hi, this is your video. You can create a more like elaborate message. And here we add the YouTube URL structure plus the YouTube ID which session gives you. And that's all. You click continue, we click test, we send a testing email, and let's see 
And here we have it, actually. Very personalized video. We open it. And here we have it. <laughs>